Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is DTech here and I'm gonna show you my experience with my ancient OS which is running on my Poco M4 Pro 4G device it's been five days I'm using this ROM I know I've been long time since I put video it's been two months or above so it's a GSI based ROM which is really fast if you can see the smooth 90 Hz which it's running on no complaints at all first few days i had complaints i would tell you why why what you need to do so f as soon as you install this on your device i would recommend you to actually you have to do it not recommend you have to go to power settings turn this two option on double tap to wake enable and disable sunlight mode so then you have to turn this two on and this is hand gesture wave gesture and uh, your pocket mode so that it doesn't turn on in your pocket and gets really hot like a boiling lava in your pocket so if you go right down here there's three options from the this three option you need to turn this two options so every time you restart your phone just come here and click the second option because when you restart the phone somehow the top speaker has a buzzing sound which when you come in the settings and turn this on goes away so that's not a big issue because when you lock the phone that buzzing sound remains if i once you install it it's gonna come to know but for that solution just disable audio effects this too and the first option is when you put your headphone jack uh to detect that that's the first option and hardware disable this is on this room i would suggest not to turn it on but if you're having some stuttery uh ui problem turn it on because i i turn it on because few of the places i found it stuttering so i turn it on but if you want a good battery life just turn it off it was it's gonna be fine the ui but here and there you're gonna see slight hiccups uh this drains a lot of battery that option not not a lot not like massive drain but it drains a lot of the battery it tells that it eats up cpu and battery a lot so that option on if you turn it off you're gonna have good battery but slight stuttering and this three options this three option is because of your the auto brightness and the jitteriness in the in uh, your brightness slider so use linear screen brightness scaling so it will go from slow up and down when your auto brightness is on not not jumping up and down so it's gonna go slow linear up and down and this false alter alternative black backlighting so your backlight is gonna use an alternative way of scaling it so if you turn that on it's gonna be fine and allow setting brightness to be lower if you want your brightness to go very low this is the one you need to turn on force disable a to dp you need to click this on because when you connect your bluetooth the audio needs to move from the phone to the headphone so this needs to be on if this is not on you connect your bluetooth and play something it won't detect the bluetooth the bluetooth will connect but it won't transfer the volume to the earphones that's why you need to turn on and last option is allow to take over with pass settings so allow with pass settings to be take over yeah take over this all settings which you click and restart please restart and come and turn this back on because this goes away this this option and nothing else this is it for the pass settings and everything will work smooth oh sorry if you go back here and you need to force that you need to click the first option fps and the force fps 90 and once you've done it it's like smooth as butter but after this you still gonna have one problem is the i don't know why this is happening but i don't know if it's the rom issue or whatever but the phone takes up a lot of ram like a lot of ram if this option is not on if the option is on which i'm gonna show you right now it won't take so much ram so when you go right down and when you go to wait when you go 
to where is it gone so background task background task so if you put standard limit it's gonna eat up a lot of ram if you put four processes it's gonna drop the ram a lot because because if i put standard i notice that the the phone takes up a lot of ram like it doesn't control itself of taking ram and then it gets so laggy that you got so frustrated and the maps will get hanged the ui will get hanged so i would suggest come here in developer option and turn on most four process just turn this on and you can go back back and just use the ui how it is so this stuff you need to do when you install the ui and after this is just how you feel like using the ui this is add-ons so next topic is craft with heart so you can craft your ui from your heart so you can go to add-ons this is like ui add-ons which you can change the look of the status bar the brightness slider you can change you can change how what themes you want you want images set behind it there's a lot to do status bar you have you can change the lock side traffic indicator all gesture in gesture you can use aosp gesture or your standard uh, three three nav button or your gesture buttons nav bar so you can change you can change a lot in battery icons i think you can change the pix if you turn this on you can reduce the amount of pixels in your device like uh, it is gonna eat up a less battery but i would suggest not to do it because it might start burning burning is um the pixel start burning up don't do that smart pixel you can block sensors then miscellaneous you can unlock high fps for and then unlimited photo storage poof and I would say just come and turn this three on because uh, Netflix, if you're using Netflix, you need to spoof it. Then you have animation. I I change the animation in the way it goes up and now you can see how it goes. That's the animation I put it in. You can choose fast, slow, very slow animation, however you look like, you want it to look like. So it's up to you battery animation you can do it as well then battery sounds you can change gestures then power man you can add a lot of stuff remove a lot of stuff buttons the how you can change the battery this volume as well look i changed it how it looks like this is how my volume slider look like themes you can go in themes dark themes quick setting themes Look, I changed it. Now it'll just change here. Yeah. Then I'll change it again to Cyberpunk theme. So it's gonna look like Cyberpunk right now. Wait. Yeah, Cyberpunk theme. So that's it. Our uh, Geek Pen score is 1800. It's the same as stock. Uh, I, I would, there's no throttling if you want me to show you the throttling. It doesn't go below 90. I will see, tell you. It just when I started the thing, it just went drop down. So it's, it's, it's really good. The ROM is very smooth. If whoever wants to try this ROM, I would say just go ahead for it. I'm going to give you the links down below. And the installation guide is same as the first one. But for you guys, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Is Just follow how I do it and you're going to be fine. So once you download the GSI, extract it, right click 
extract extract file once you extract the file open it up right click rename it to system so once you click then cop right click it and copy copy it to your GSI tool which I given down below copy paste it and it will look like this if you paste it because I already have it so it's here paste it here and click on the GSI tool the this option and then you have to click on this option here yeah? and once this open connect your phone in fast boot mode and press enter follow the instructions one is once it's flashed wipe the data and reboot the system that's it thanks peace out thank you guys for watching please hit like and subscribe if you like this video and i helped you with all of this so sorry that i can't do it through recovery for now in the future video if there are custom roms which i can flash properly without hassle for y'all then i'm gonna do it because it's a big hassle to do it and i don't want people getting boot loop because i went into boot loop i went into brick stage so i had done everything and I, it's a bit hassle for uh, for people to do it so i would suggest not to do it gsi is the way to go i would say if you're happy with this please flash it on your or on your daily driver I, i'm using it for five days i didn't have any issues so it's 